How are you doing YouTube? Today we're back with a brand new video. Um, so this video, video is going to be slightly different. Um, I am... I'm sponge floating uh, in this video. So basically if you want to... Um, watch the whole video if you want. But um, the voiceover is going to start uh, around 22 minutes. So... Um, if you're here just for the voiceover, skip the 22 minutes. If you're here just to watch the whole video, uh, enjoy.
How are you doing YouTube? Today we're back with a brand new video. So as you've seen, there was a bit of a different start to this video. Um, we had the, the 21 minutes each there at the start. Um, we usually usually just voice over the whole way through, but I actually wanted to skip forward um, because we are specifically uh, using the sponge float today. I wanted to sort of skip um, forward and do a bit of a, a voiceover. Um, so, as you can see here, it, I, I've never, I've used the sponge fluid a few times, but um, it's not something that I'm super comfortable using. Um, I know British Gypsum say that you shouldn't use a sponge float with their products. Um, because it weakens the plaster but this this plaster is in British Gypsum um, and Gyp Rock haven't released any specific um, any specific guidance against or for using sponge float so I've decided to give it a go um, most, most uh, guys when they're sponge floating what they'll do is they'll soak the whole wall they will sponge and then they'll come and trial it but I didn't feel uh, super comfortable doing that um, just because it's the first time in a, a, in a long time where I've actually used this method so um, I just decided to do it in, in quarters so you can see here I do a quarter of the wall I trial it up and then I do the other quarter of the wall at the top and then drop down. We've this whole room put on. Um, obviously there's there's no ceiling to be done, but um there was the first bucket got us everything except for the window wall um and a few bits and then the second mix instead of mixing slightly less we mix the same and we use the excess stuff in the bucket to uh, first and second coat the window wall um i only started putting this plaster on um i think this was around two o'clock we had rendered it that uh rendered it down course down the stairs so um you'll see in the, the video here that it gets uh, pretty dark um and you might struggle to see a little bit, but if you're wondering why, that's the reason. Um, usually two o'clock, after two o'clock, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put any more skim on, but um, I had a big push on for this job. So um, I actually wanted to bring you a, a few more videos from here, but um, I have two more videos from here. Um, one that will be uploaded on Wednesday, which is the day in the life. Um, and that was the day in the life was getting the downstairs prepped and then I have another one I think it was the skim in the other two rooms up the stairs I also wanted to do some some um, videos of me skimming the downstairs but I had to basically I had to skim them two big massive rooms in two days um, so two nights in a row I worked at like 10 o'clock uh, in the evening, I just I couldn't face um, I couldn't face having to try to video as well as um, do all the skimming. Um, but so after them videos, we'll be moving on the other jobs. Um, I've just a load of smaller stuff to do so. Um, back to the regular videos thankfully um, you can see here the stuff is actually starting to set on me um, it's starting to tighten up a bit more than I would like it to um, but I would already closed in so the majority of the hard work was done here but I, I do enjoy using the sponge float just because um, it makes life slightly easier. Basically what I do with a water brush when I r rub the brush on the surface is the same thing you're doing with the sponge float. You're agitating the surface. Um, yeah, so 
it's basically the same process that I'm doing, only I'm using a sponge instead. Um, and the only thing that I would say is the sponge actually does agitate the surface more than the brush. I found like it makes a lot of fat. Um, and because I'm using the sponge, I haven't got the brush in my hand. Um, and usually I would be cleaning my fields, <coughs> cleaning angles, sealing angles and stuff. Um, but I'm not doing that here, so I'm, I'm actually going to have to do that the next, the next trial. Um, not that that makes a massive difference, but I like to get all the angles and corners nice and um, tidy and clean, basically on this coat, which I haven't done. Overall, I, I feel like it's um, it's good. It's good in a way because it, it does make this um, second trial slightly easier. Um, and that you're, you're not rubbing the whole thing with a brush. Um, but I, it, it's hard to explain. I just don't feel comfortable doing it. Um, i done... There's another two bedrooms up the stairs and i done them the same way with the sponge float. Um, and the more i done it, the more comfortable I got. But it's still, um, it's still hard trying to get in to the swing of it. And when a big massive hits on, like it was doing down the stairs, it just, it was too easy to fall into that natural, just lifting the brush to do the same job as the sponge. Um, this is a fine, this is like a fine uh, sponge, so the pores of the sponge aren't getting filled up with plaster as much. I found that the, the last time that I tried this, I used a, like a more porous sponge, like bigger bigger pores, um, and the plaster got into them, and they were really hard to clean. Like you were spending maybe 25, 30 minutes trying to get all the plaster with this thinner one. The, the plaster doesn't go as far into it, um, and it, it definitely makes it easier to clean. Um, it only took me a few minutes. I have a, a the, we've seen it before, the brush that I used to clean the mixing drill. Um, I just used the mixing, uh, the, that bucket and this, the um, water brush and I cleaned, that's basically how I cleaned it out. If you're enjoying the video, um, I would appreciate it if you, you just hit the thumbs up button. Um, also, if you if you want to support me, you can go to the links in the description. Um, I have Patreon and Buy Me Coffee. I also have um, Amazon affiliate links, which are links to tools that I use. You click on them, you buy a tool. I get a percentage. If you don't buy a tool, but you go on to buy something else, um, I also get a percentage. So it's just a, a good way to sort of support without actually having... You know to give me actually give me money um i bought this sponge i bought this sponge um i think it was 25 pound um in the, the builder's yard that i go to so um they're not exactly cheap and and depending on how many of them i go through um will depend on really how much ultimately i use them um i see a lot of people use these for and i think it's what they're actually for especially this one um for rubbing up sand and cement and sponging at the end but um yeah so we'll see we'll see how it goes but uh, i you know it does it does make uh life slightly easier you know um, especially I found when you're like struggling to keep up with the stuff so this this wall here because th th both of them were done out of the same bucket um, and I didn't get a chance to properly close them in I actually um, did struggle a little bit and it definitely speeds up the process uh, when you're starting to lose it um, but yeah I suppose each to their own like they say 
most people like have this misconception that it was like people from Britain or, or here you can see actually I'm cleaning the float uh, the sponge float and it's, it's pretty easy as you can see just cleaning it off of the brush and then scraping it on the side of the bucket which done the job pretty well to be honest with you and you see it only take me a two or three minutes or to actually um, clean it off um, and then we're basically going to um, well I actually clean the bucket and stuff out here but we switch straight back to um, our normal process so after we sponge them we're going to give it its flaxy trial you can see there on the wall the stuff's already starting to set so I need to get straight on tilt. Um, you can see here I'm brushing my angles and stuff out now, obviously, because I wasn't able to do it on the last trial because we were using the sponge. But um, yeah, uh, I'm just gonna put a, a voiceover on the rest of the the vi or, uh, sorry, not a voiceover uh, music over the rest of the video because we're basically um, back to what we usually do. Um, I'm actually considering changing this kind of video. Um, I'm finding it harder and harder to voice over because basically I'm saying the same things. You know, every single video, it's, you're saying the same things and it gets a bit repetitive. So um, I would like s some um, input from everybody. The day in the lives are a lot easier to film. Um, they're also a lot easier to add it um, because I'm not having to do voiceovers. Um, so I'm wondering, is that maybe a direction that I should go down doing Day in the Lives um, and then maybe making these uh, longer montage videos but slowed down um, and some music over the top of them. Uh, and then obviously I'm still going to use the or do the tool reviews um, st and stuff like that there. So uh, yeah some input would be great um thanks for watching if you've enjoyed bash the thumbs up button um 85 percent of the people that will watch this video aren't subscribed so even if half of you subscribe um it's going to get me uh over the thousand mark um if you if you hit the thumbs up it's also really helpful because of the youtube algorithm um it pushes me further up um and it makes my uh, video more visible to people. Um, and yeah, basically I said, if you, if you want notified when I post a new video, um, all you have to do is hit the bell notification. Um, and also go over and check out my TikTok. Um, we're going to start doing lives on TikTok. Um, I think I'm probably going to start them this week. So if you want to actually interact live with me and watch it as I'm as I'm plastering um, head over to YouTube or head over to TikTok um, and follow me over there um, thanks for watching guys uh, I'll see you in the next video